Peter, you won't believe it. Roderick beats Arthur at the sleep. That's not true. He was in front of the line. <laughs> You're just rubbish. <laughs> oh, you two are arguing again. Ugh. If you don't play by the rules... You're gonna tell me... Hugo! ...about rules. I keep telling Have you. Have you seen Hugo? Gently now, gently. Don't stop. Go on. Hugo! Where can he have gone? Think, Amicia. Think. Is that a, a, a village here? Hey, wait. Did anyone see a child come through here? Please. Oh, Amicia. Are you feeling better? How is the little one? Kulavi? Is, is, is that you? Have you seen Hugo? Did you shout at him again? No, absolutely not. Times are hard in life. Are you arguing? But we weren't arguing anymore. Amicia, a child never runs away without a reason. Open the door. I'm going to find him. All right, but be careful. An ill wind is on its way, Amicia. What is that? What is going on? Amicia, I've been waiting for you. Come with me. Laurentius? Is that really you? Where is Hugo? He... he's gone. <sighs> I knew this would happen. I did take care of him. Then why did he leave? I, I don't know. I... I did everything I could to protect him. Even... horrible things. It is easy to spill blood. But to love, to protect. I'm going to find him. Then go and pray there is still time. Mommy, I hear a noise outside. Hugo, that's him. Mother? Amicia, come here. Yes, mother. Your brother's here. How is he? If he's back, it's because he's not very well. But I did everything. You hid the truth from him. But... His emotions, Amicia. I warned you. Let me see him. He doesn't want to see you. Who are you talking to, Mommy? I have to see him. He doesn't need you anymore. That's a lie. <sighs> Go on, then. See for yourself. Hugo, are you all right? No. What's the matter? Why did you leave? Why didn't you tell me Mommy was alive? It was for your own good, Hugo. That's not true. You didn't want me to know. Don't say that. You're jealous. Jealous. Let go of me. You go now. Uh, you go. Uh, where are you?
It's him. Hugo. Let me go. He's there. Thank you. Stop shouting. Where's your sister, eh? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> it was you. You're not getting away this time. Alicia. <laughs> I'm here. Everything's all right, Hugo. It's over. Hey, are you all right? They didn't hurt you, did they? No. But why did you go off like that? I heard Mummy. She was calling me. It must have been a nightmare, that's all. I really thought it was her. She was in pain, and... She can't feel pain where she is now. We talked about this. But... She's gone, Hugo. You have to accept it. Let's go back. All right. We must get back to the castle. It is done. Can I go and see my mother now? Only the Grand Inquisitor may say. But you told me. My words are of no importance. Only those of the Grand Inquisitor. But be sure, you are very precious to him indeed. Sangri's duty. When's it gonna end, eh? Soon. The hour of the people approaches. But think of Vitalis. Your ordeal is nothing compared to his. Huh? Wait. What's that? Been on Episangri's duty. When's it gonna end, eh? Soon. The hour of the conjuration approaches. But think of Vitalis. Your ordeal is nothing compared to his. It's 
so big. Where's mummy? Material, materials. Gold unique. By breaking you, I clear your way. The way to the blood of the Chosen One. Today's refining gone. The quality is excellent, but the mass of raw episanguis is decreasing. Our harvesters are being decimated by the rats. Do your best. The life of the Grand Inquisitor depends on the quality of the distillate. Grand Inquisitor is overwhelmed by the fight. I fear it will now attack his mind. Don't worry. The boy's blood has been False alarm. Twenty barrels. We have almost reached the objective. I hope so. Because that's all we'll be able to produce. It is already a miracle. Hey, what I'm afraid. Are you I'm afraid. 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 i am Like me. It will light me. Fucking epi sang with steam. Oh, it will light 
hiding from this. I know I am. Damn it. Inquisitor is very busy. Busy? I am the Archbishop. I represent the Pope. Monseigneur, the mission of the Grand Inquisitor is sacred. His mission was never approved by the Church. I hear only heresy and occultism. <coughs> My head. Shh, shut up. <coughs> Measure your words. Mommy, where are you? Make you more cautious. Magister, the text clearly mentions the ascension of a child during the Great Plague of Justinian. I knew it. The Roman nobles isolated him from the people and worshipped him in secret. Maybe an ancestor of Hugo de Rune. Continue. They're talking about me. By freeing the country from the bite, the Grand Inquisitor will gain the adoration of the people and with it, unprecedented political power. Archbishop Gautier's presence here says a lot. The Pope's court is worried. The Prima Macula, on the cusp of the first threshold, devours the lost carrier, or walks beside the one who tames it, master or slave, order or chaos. But how can we be sure? Beatrice de Rune's research texts are all coded. I give up. I have some good news. They finally moved her to the basement. So she's going to crack. About time. Mommy. Trista Rune's research texts are all coded. I give up. I have some good news. They finally moved her to the basement. So she's going to crack. About time. Mommy. You see, Amicia, I found Mommy. Thank <laughs> you. 
Grand Inquisitor, the Archbishop has arrived. Perfect. Bring him in. Vitalis. Monseigneur Gautier, I trust your journey went well. Now spare me your niceties. We grow tired of your little game, Vitalis. A game, Archbishop? <laughs> Can a game change the future of the world? Listen to yourself. You have completely lost your mind. And all this is... Uh, if I may. It's important. We have the blood of Hugo de Hun. Have you tested it? Yes. Uh, alas, Monseigneur. The boy should have reached the first threshold already, but it seems something in his blood has slowed the process. The macula is still in its original state. No matter. If the books are correct, my blood and his will be bound. When he reaches the next threshold, I shall reach it with him. Proceed. Considers you a threat. Vitalis Benevon, you are to be excommunicated. One can excommunicate a man, Archbishop, <laughs> but not a saint. Your inquisition is over. Meaning that a new era commences. One where puppets such as yourself will kneel and beg me to save them. with us. Very good. Go and see whether Beatrice Doreen has regained consciousness. He's scary, but I have to follow him. Why does she keep resisting like that? We have the same goal. We both fight the plague. Only our methods differ. The daughter is making the same error. <sighs> Stupid. Attention! But the brother, he is unique. He might understand. Unique? I'm unique? At ease. At ease. What was that? Strange. Congratulations on capturing the child. We've been after him for weeks. And then he simply turns up here asking to see his mother. Huh. <laughs> Seems he has a sense of humor. I know I saw something move over there. Well, he 
was nothing. Forget it. As I was telling you, this god was devoured, but not completely. His bones were cut up and taken away by the rats. For what purpose? To incorporate them into that material we find everywhere. You mean their nests? They use our dead to build their nests. Precisely. And if we do nothing, at the rate the dead are accumulating, the nests will eventually join together to form one giant nest. It's just a matter of time. So let us pray that Vitalis's conjuration ceremony will indeed take place. Where is he? I won't find Mammy without him. see. rats. Uh, tell me. Why can't I hear you like rats. the others? Seeing as we have to transport them. You have nothing? Time to move on. with him now. Uh, rats. Uh, tell me. Why can't I hear you like the others? Seeing as we have to transport them. You have nothing to fear from them. Meticulous cross-breeding and a little alchemy has tempered them. Not to mention a, a radical change of diet. Hey, uh. kid. <laughs> Good. Help me. No. Help me. 
What's wrong with him now? Hey, oh, no. die quietly. We're trying to work here. I'd rather he waited. That's the third thing. Damn you. You'll all go to hell. You, you and your fucking rats. Savor Dear this respite. Going to kill me. Your death <sighs> is not an end, for your blood shall nourish a new race of angels. They shall be your children, with your pride. It's horrible. her son with a knife to his throat. She'll cooperate. I saw Lord Nicholas go past. That Darun woman is gonna suffer, I'd say. Ah, serves her right. Ah, such an educated woman. She should have joined our side. Oh, no. She's way too stubborn. But no match for our torture. out there, believe me. At least here your carcass can still be of value to our alchemists. Think yourself lucky. Oh, bastard. Hey, kid. Shh, I have to find my mommy. The alchemist? Oh, goodness. You shouldn't. Torturer will take care of you. You'll soon have your voice back. Mark my words. Oh no, he's coming back. Hide. Mummy? Uh uh. Mummy? Hugo? But, so they... Amicia said you were dead, but you're not. Amicia? My darling. You must go if they find you here. No, I'm staying with you. Oh, Hugo. Did they take your blood? Oh my god. All right, Hugo. We'll go together. But you have to find the keys. They must keep them in the room at the end of the corridor. Can you make it there? Off you go then. Go. B. 
Be very careful. Come back as soon as you have the keys. When I return, I want everything prepared and ready to begin. Do you understand? Yes, Lord Nicholas. All right, you heard him. Everything will be ready. The alchemist will talk. I'm going to enjoy it. Just do your job. The captain of the guard doesn't appreciate improvisation, and neither do I. Uh, yes, of course. Let me know when you're ready. I have to meet the lady. Right. This might give me a promotion. Authority, results. I told right you. then. Not the room. No pointless showman, children. I'm so sharp, right? Hammer, pliers, barber, saw, paper, keys, redeem. Have I forgotten anything? of rats if I can just free them. Oh, that's for the cages. They don't like lanterns.
this. You see me, sir? I'm just going to... My head. Stop shouting. <laughs> Goodbye. I have to get them out of there. And maybe with the other lantern. I've got to go back. I have to move the rats. does it say? It says it wants me to join it. The first threshold. Tommy, I'm scared. We'll never get out of here. We don't have a choice. If I am with you, the voice, are you ready to reply? Hugo, can you hear them? Mm, yes. They all have the same voice. The one that makes my head hurt. Don't try to ignore it. Embrace it completely. Don't be afraid. Yes. Everything is all right. Now, you're going to tell them to move. So we can get... Well done. You see? 